case you're wondering what I'm burning right there, it's a rabbit. I came home and there's a dead rabbit right out here in the middle of my yard. So, I, you know, could be disease. I have animals. I'm not going to take any chances. I came across, I mean, it was a moving mass of maggots. No dog got it because we've, we haven't been around. So I'm burning it real good. And then I'm going to take the burnt carcass and put it in the burn can. I'm going to burn the ground a little bit more. I'm not taking any chances. Somebody was saying that it's a disease. I don't know the name of it. It was a long name, but it affects rodents. And my neighbor Joe said that he hasn't seen any groundhogs, any bunnies, like they're all sort of like gone right now. So that's, I gotta spray, I gotta put more shit on here. Um, so, so that, that's the deal. I don't want to take any chances. Now it, it affects groundhogs, rodents, you know, rabbits, stuff like that. But I was, somebody on my Facebook page said that they had a similar problem and he had an English cocker that it like affected it didn't make the dog you know the dog's alive and everything but they were attributing to the dog getting sick due to this which I, I don't even know what this is now the neighbor dog could have like wounded it and it made it over here do you know what I'm saying I don't know but I'm not taking any chances and either should you don't ever touch wildlife this is a reason never to touch wildlife you find any type of wildlife don't touch it don't there's all kinds of diseases that wildlife get don't do it if you come across any wildlife that is injured or young and you think it's abandoned it's probably not abandoned and for the most part if this was in the woods it wouldn't be a problem you know the maggots need to eat too but it's in my yard and I really, I don't want any type of problems. It's better, better safe than sorry. I almost considered coming out here and bleaching it, which would be another way to kill, kill bacteria, which I, I might do that. I might burn it up real good and then bleach the area, but I'm not, I'm not going to take a chance. You know, it only affects rodents, but you know, don't touch wildlife ever leptospirosis is deadly it's deadly to humans too be careful be, be careful be very cautious with baby animals there's there's many different diseases that you can you can get and your pets can get from wild animals okay so be very careful I'm not paranoid I'm smart you know there's no way. We're back here. The dogs are going to be in the backyard. I am not taking a chance. There's no fucking way. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, there's just a dead rabbit in my yard. No fucking way. Better, better safe than sorry. You know? Rabbits are awesome. This bums me out. It does. It bums me out. We, gotta, we usually have a lot of rabbits around here. I had some in my yard. A little while back, I ran over it with my lawnmower, one of those nests. Killed two of them. The other, the other ones stayed in the nest and, and were fine. This could be one of them, for all I know. It's sad. Sucks. Bunnies are cool. They make pretty good pets, too. You can litter box train them. Not these. These are wild. This is a wild bunny. Talking about domestic bunnies. I can see the little jaw check this out it's pretty cool you can see the the jaws right there you see that it's the jaw this thing was covered in maggots I came out here I noticed it right away and I was like god I gotta I gotta get the shovel or something and do something I want dogs generally aren't gonna eat something that's covered in maggots they're not but you know my dogs are fed why are they gonna eat something that's covered in maggots but you you just never know there's Brewster that has pick a holy eat anything now I gotta watch that dog all the time so it's a dog you know it, it is a dog they generally don't want anything that's covered in maggots but like I said it's a dog so we don't take any chances it sucks it's unfortunate it's wildlife though that's the way it goes
it was it was covered in maggots it, it was it was really moving now if it was if it was the springtime just uh, on a side note having flies and those those bugs that that eat dead animals would be good for my pawpaw trees because that's what pollinates pawpaws is is flies flies and beetles all those things the flowers the flowers to the pawpaw tree smell like rotting flesh to insects but if you smell them they don't really smell like anything does that make sense if you want to have pawpaw trees and when it flowers you don't smell dead meat but it does attract those animals so so I'll let this thing burn out I'll get a shovel and put the rest of it in the burn can sucks man suspicious death on my property it's gross it's gross I like the groundhogs too I'm sorry to hear that that they're sort of like not being seen lately I do I like them they're like big old fucking beaver land beavers that's the way I look at them as land beavers but if they well they might die in their in their holes or whatever i think but i think this bunny might have been living underneath this 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 boat you know so maybe it crawled out and died maybe it got injured and was trying to get back home i don't know but it's it's weird you just you know not good not good